close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I So a warm welcome to you all, we will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Well I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you Peter and, and thank you very much for that. So it's down to business here. Lalana going full steam ahead down the left flank. Milner. Raspilicueta. Milner. Now it's Lalana. Looks to thread it through. Some clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? Jordan Henderson. No, that's not the ball he wanted. And Nietzsche B. Yanusai. How about it? Good stop. That wasn't easy. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Could so easily have been different. Or when he struck that, he I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And yet is I! And it's a goal! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Sticks in a foot to win it. Forward it goes. Rodwell. Up he gets! It's there! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Sunderland are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Sunderland have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team... Chan. Tries a through ball. Sané looking to get on the end of this. Chan. And the finish! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Well, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. It's Henderson. It's come loose. Oh, referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Liverpool suffered a bit of a shock at being hit hard and fast with, with two goals, and they still seem to be feeling the effects. They now need a, a motivational team talk that can help restore a little reassurance. And it's Lalana. Looks to slip it through. Milner has it out wide and in space. What about it? Well, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. We have 
got ourselves a game here. A scoring early in this. Tries game. a through ball. Lalana looking to get on the end of this. Heads it! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Yeah, and he probably didn't get the cleanest of contacts there either. You know, I think he went for too much power with his header. down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change Jordan Henderson takes it up from the goal kick and it's Sturridge pulls out on the left now decent ball he's scored And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. We have ourselves a real game here. And that will be the final act. Passion and panache. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. So a warm welcome to you all, we will be underway very shortly, once all the pleasantries are complete. So the Loney has been handed his first start, that is the notable news. Yeah, and I think it's a move that can impress two managers, that of his new club and his parent club. A good spell here doesn't necessarily mean a, a permanent transfer, he could well be wanted back. A quick look at the lineups. deflection but he's claiming it Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Nice Roberto Firmino. Now the pass. Gets up to head it! Really well taken goal. A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. That's 
second goal has such a, a polarizing effect on now it's long steve davis oh good stop it had to be turns and goes back he'll have a tip it's bounced out tremendous from long he was so alert to the possibilities there great stuff our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Too heavy, if you can pick that up. There is the half time whistle. Well, it's still anyone's game as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Very little in it. The score at half time is two goals to one. Davis! Oh, what a save! He had a long way to go. Well, what a tester for the goalkeeper because it was struck with real venom and I thought he dealt with it really well. Jordan Henderson. And it's Henderson. And now the finish, and the ball's come out. Aspilicueta gets into some space. Really didn't have it on. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Out towards the flank. Klein looking to get on the end of this. Firmino hits it! They've scored! Fraser Forster did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. Well, listen, last line of defence and you don't get it right, then you're paying a visit to your net. Position and it's to convince them to increase their it's lead. I think th there is the final whistle. A decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the results reflect as much. Your reflections, then, Jim. At times, it was like Groundhog Day because of. <laughs>